Hey, what's going on? My name is Jens and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can easily recreate those images. Maybe you've already guessed it, today we're gonna do long exposure photography. It's fun, it's creative and the best thing is, it is pretty simple to set up. You just need three things. A camera, you can also use a smartphone for example. The second thing is a tripod or something to bring your smartphone into a stable position to avoid any blur. And the third thing is a light source. Basically you can use any light source you want. In this video I'm gonna use those LED finger clips which work pretty good. They are very easy to mount and paint actually, but you can use anything you want, like the flash of your smartphone or a Christmas light chain or even fire can look pretty amazing. So today it's getting pretty great. Okay, I've just mounted those LED lights the very first time to my fingers. Um, and I have set the exposure time of this video at the moment to a quarter of a second so that you can get a feeling what is actually possible using those LED clips. We're gonna start with a couple of long exposure images just to get a feeling what is possible using those LED lights and then we're gonna get very creative. Okay, now the freak show is over, I promise. For the first image we're gonna do today, we have to glue or tape the finger LEDs to a string. And now it's up to you to get creative. After we've taped our lights to the string, how would you move or spin the string around to get some pretty cool images? I've changed the shutter speed of this video to a quarter of the second so that you can get a feeling how the image will look afterwards. Probably you cannot see it in this video footage, but I've also used red LED lights. Those are pretty weak, so let's turn off the light. In the last couple of days, I have experimented with different gears and combining them with LED light. Do you have any idea what this might be? And now it's time to paint. Choose shutter speeds between 2 and 4 seconds and experiment a little bit with the rotation speed and different LED lights to create an effect like this, for example. To get an image like this, it is very important that you stay stable. So just start the rotation and then freeze so that only the LED light is moving because of the long exposure times, we would get too much blur otherwise. Yeah, that is one of my first attempts. I had forgotten to turn off the light. So the background is illuminated completely and you can see that green screen at the background and yeah. I'd recommend to create some distance between you, the light source and the background and turn off all other lights in the room. Oh, by the way, are you interested in how I edit my images? If yes, leave a comment below and I'm gonna work on a tutorial how to adjust the colors in Lightroom afterwards. That is one of my favorite images. I went very, very close with my face to the rotating LED lights, which created those cool shadows. And are you recognizing something? Maybe you take a closer look on the hand. In the first images, I just hold the string like this. And that was pretty bad because you see how the image was created. But in those images, I'm holding my hands like this. And when you see this image the first time, you're probably wondering how the hell is this gonna work? Where's the colors coming from? And that's basically because I have added a slip knot to the string 
So I pull my finger through the slip knot and I do the rotation while holding my hand like this, creating this cool effect. Hmm, what about this image? This looks completely different. For that image, I have taped the string with the LED light to the lens of my camera. I think there's still a little bit room for improvement, especially the colors, but I think this is a pretty unique perspective. What do you think? Will you give this photography idea a try? I'd really like to see what your image looked like. So if you try this, feel free to contact me via Instagram, for example, and let's exchange our ideas and our images. Then I came up with a new idea. I wanted to paint some kind of a Christmas tree. Therefore, we just need to rotate our string with the LED light. Yeah, that was my first idea. I taped the string with the LED light to this metal tube and the result was actually pretty surprising. I didn't really expect that those spirals came out so smooth. I think for the start that was pretty okay. As a second attempt, I used the LED string and just rotated it to create different circles with different sizes. I changed the location turn of all the lights and this is what happened. When I started the rotation of the LED string, the light also started to rotate and the image looked like this, pretty horrible. I decided that I hold the light with one hand and start the rotation by rotating the light a little bit and the results became a little bit better. For the next attempt, I changed the angle of the camera. So I moved it 90 degrees and took the image from the bottom to the top. At the end, I must say that this LED string was not the perfect tool to create a fake Christmas tree. Maybe I'm gonna use the Christmas light, but that's a topic for another video. Okay, now as promised, I'm going to tell you what kind of tool I use to create the spirals and circles. Therefore, you're going to need tape and some kind of bracket. I have taped the bracket to a cordless screwdriver, which does the rotation here. <clears throat> Are you interested in how I took those images? Basically, the technique is quite similar. I have just replaced the LEDs with sparklers. So the cordless screwdriver is really a very nice tool when you want to experiment and get creative, especially when using long exposure times. Now, I don't want to go too much into detail how to take an image using this nice tool here, because I just want to show you what tool you need to get an image like this. But now it's up to you to get creative and make your own composition. Just one or two last examples. When you move the screwdriver away from your lens, the result will look like this. What do you think? Will you give this tool a try and create those nice colorful spirals? And now I'm gonna challenge you because I have seen some pretty amazing light orbs on the internet. That's why I created my own light orbs. The first one looked pretty, yeah, not that clean, but at the end it got better. So I challenge you to send me your best light orbs and the best of them will be shown in the next video. Here is how I created this light orb. I have taped two of those LED lights to a string, but actually you can use any kind of light source you want. A small torch, for example, would work very good or a light chain. The more weight you got at the end of the string, the easier the rotation will be. And now the tricky part begins. We have to spin our light and at the same time do a 360 degree circle while the center of the rotation stays above one center point on the bottom. Yeah, 
<laughs> looks a little bit stupid, but at the end the results are pretty cool, right? I am really looking forward to get your best orb images. I hope that I could give you a little bit of inspiration and I'd really like to know what kind of image you like the most. So feel free to leave a comment below and tell me. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. I'm uploading weekly, sometimes even twice a week, videos about photography ideas and tutorials. So I'd really appreciate if you join the community. Have a good day and hopefully see you in the next video.